Hello, welcome to the NSA Georgia website. I'm your host, Diane Bogino. Our guest today is Lois Kramer, owner of Book More Business. Ms. Kramer operates from experience. Her clients have adopted her philosophy of concept and outcome marketing to grow their businesses and increase sales. Her common sense ideas and high energy approach make her a perfect choice for anyone who wants to utilize new ideas and strategies that can be implemented immediately. Ms. Kramer also has a thriving consulting practice. Her expertise in selling and presenting programs has led her to be called upon to participate in several programs for businesses as well as her own trade organization, National Speakers Association. Clients come to Lois in all sizes from large to small. The list includes frontline salespeople to sales managers. All her information is meaningful, doable, and successful. Lois, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, Lois, uh, tell us just a little bit about what you do exactly. Well, I have kind of two things that I do, really. I, I mix it up. 90% uh, of what I do is under my company name, Bookmore Business. And with Bookmore Business, I work with professional speakers who want to book more business, make more money, and avoid making costly mistakes. Um, and the second part of my business I call fast forward selling, which is sales training with corporations, associations, their salespeople who just want to update their skills. Lois, on your website, you bill yourself as a small business strategist and cheerleader. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I like to think that when I help someone uh, to become more successful by having them consider using some of my strategies in their business to grow, uh, that we're successful. And I want to be the first person front and center clapping and cheering for my clients. So that's why I say I'm a cheerleader as well as a strategist. I think it's important. It helps the relationship too with my clients. Uh, I noticed on your website also you say that you help your clients to quantify their prospects interest. I'd love to hear about that. You know I think Diane one of the biggest concerns that clients have when they hire us is exactly how much will my business improve? What techniques or tactics is she going to give me that are going to make a difference in my business? And I have a sales qualifying system that I use for salespeople as well as professional speakers. And I call it my 10 questions to book more business. And by using those and considering the answers you get for those, I can actually, I have a little system I plug in with the way that people answer it. And I think you can actually quantify what is, how likely is it that this person is going to work with you now, later, or never. And of course, as small business people, we're always striving to keep the productivity going. And so this, I think, is absolutely key to, to being productive as a small business. One of the things that you are known for is developing good uh, position statements. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Can you give our viewers a little hint about how to do that? Uh, I can't give you a little hint how to do it, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, you just heard mine. When you asked me what I did when we started this interview, I said, my name is Lois Kramer. I run a business called Book More Business, working with professional speakers who want to book more business, make more money, and avoid making costly mistakes. And I believe a good positioning statement is like a hook. It draws interest into what you do. It doesn't define you necessarily. It's not an elevator speech because I don't think it should be longer than five or seven seconds. But it's the introduction to what I do. I just worked with a professional speaker, a very talented young man who speaks on leadership. He's a retired Navy man. And the positioning statement we came up uh, for, for him is, I work with leaders who want to stand up, step up, and take charge. And believe me, that opens lots of doors in his market. And of course, the key is that your positioning statement must be your position, your brand, in your business. So I call a good positioning statement the front floor of your business, the absolute floor. Lots of times I go in and wanna, people want to work with me and they've already put up the walls and the ceiling and the roof, but they haven't based it on a good positioning foundation. So I think positioning and having a positioning statement is a great tool today. Uh, Lois, tell us a little bit about your consulting business. My consulting business with speakers, I've been doing it since 1998. 
I uh, have a background working in corporate sales and marketing with a little company called United States Steel Corporation uh, prior, to, prior to that. And um, I have, I would say my bread and butter, Diane, I have two-day programs where people come to me or I go to them and we spend two days working on that positioning thing we just talked about, working on the marketing materials that the people expect you to have who hire you to speak. Um, we talk about a social media strategy to support what they tell me they want to do. We create the copy for their websites. We carve out target markets who will pay for the kind of information that they're selling. Uh, you can be highly unproductive in sales if you're knocking on the wrong doors too long. And then I, th I would say that the last thing I do is kind of wrap it up in a bow and I, I use, call that bow leveraging. How do we leverage all of the success we get so that we have an enterprise that continues, has continuing interest in it, instead of just giving a speech and going back to our office and saying, okay, who, who's gonna hire me next? So I wanna have a system, I create a system of leads coming into your business at all times. And I, I think it works. My clients will tell you it does. Lois, you have a number of audio programs. Uh, tell us about those. I do. I, you know, I tell speakers and consultants that really speaking and consulting is an intellectual property business, Diane, uh, and that people pay us for what we have up here. The people who make the most money in these kinds of businesses are the people who create the most, most pathways to the marketplace with their intellectual property. So I think that, that speakers and consultants need to uh, have recordings of programs. All of my CDs or MP3s that I sell are recordings of presentations that I've made for, in front of groups of salespeople, in front of at national meetings, at uh, national speakers, at chapters. Uh, I go all around the country for NSA and speak at their chapters and their recordings. So I always challenge people. Um, I'm going to be speaking to um, NSA Georgia tomorrow morning and one of the things I'm going to do is challenge them that they need to have a product within the next 60 days because it's it's I think it's really important when you speak or consult that you find some revenue stream that doesn't involve you leaving the house or getting on a plane. Thank you for visiting the NSA Georgia website. Stay tuned because we'll be bringing you more experienced speakers like Lois Kramer with great ideas to grow your business.